Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. It's me, Paul, as always. I'm here in the studio just to talk about a couple of quick points. Uh, big news coming out of Ireland this week. Uh, obviously, Martin O'Neill linked with the Stoke job. And now there's a lot of headlines on Twitter and uh, doing the rounds of the paper, The Independent and a couple of other papers uh, going around saying that uh, any deal involving Martin O'Neill is going to involve Roy Keane as well. So be interested to see what happens there in regards to that because a lot of people have told Keane to take over from O'Neill, which I don't know if I would have been uh, so much of a fan of, but we'll, we'll have to see how that kind of goes. Um, just in terms of O'Neill going to Stoke, I don't know if it's... Um, I suppose... The money is going to be the big thing there, but uh, I think he's taking Ireland as far as he, he could take us anyway. Um, I think it would be best for both parties probably if he does go uh, and leave it as, as he has because um, the campaign didn't obviously go according to plan, but the the injury to Seamus Coleman was obviously a big one and a couple of key losses in the team as well in terms of players as well so it'll be interesting to see what happens there um, we're going to have a video on the managerial situation tomorrow so keep an eye out for that one in other news uh, Seamus Coleman is back in full training which uh, as you can tell by that big smile on my face i um, quite delighted about I think every Irish fan is, is very much delighted for Seamus um, the sooner we see him back out on that pitch the better uh, Sam Allardyce announced it the other night and the eight in the AGM on uh, I think it was Tuesday night he announced it that uh, Seamus is back in full training so it'd be interesting to see when he gets back uh, I imagine he's gonna have a couple of reserve games just to build up his his fitness now the fact that everything are out of every competition um, it'll be easier to actually blood Seamus in because they'll only have one game a week and uh, if those if those games go well who's to say that uh, he would just gather up the minutes, minutes by minute, and then um, who knows? He could be in, in contention to uh, make his return to the Ireland set up there when the friendlies in March. Another player uh, on the Everton team who's come back from injury is James McCarthy, who's played uh, a number of games now, and, uh, and he's done quite well. Uh, James, I believe, is a top quality, top quality player. I know a lot of Irish fans that watch him don't really see it, but uh, being an Everton fan, that I've watched him continuously, so I know. What he what he brings to the team, if he can get back fit and uh, we can and it depend on what type of manager we get in. But if it's a manager that wants to play ball, we'd be interested to see. I mean, put McCarthy in there with Hendrick and uh, Harry Arthur. That's a different outlook for the Irish team altogether. Now, in terms of um, midfielders going forward, obviously Alan George has um, is getting back now. He's 21 months out injured, and he's coming back I into contention getting back playing as well so all these players are starting to come back into uh, back from injury so it makes uh, good reading for the Irish team going forward now with the upcoming friendlies if everybody can uh, avoid setbacks that would be the that would be the key thing I suppose in regards to, to uh, George and um, he he had a big statement up on his uh, Instagram the other day uh, I left the phone at home, so uh, I don't actually have it. But I'll pop it up on the screen, actually, so you can so you can have a read of it. Uh, as well as that, then um, a couple of other players will be looking to get in the squad in March. Obviously, uh, Preston's uh, players, Preston North End. You have obviously Greg Cunningham, Daryl Horgan, Andy Boyle, um, and Kev O'Connor, as well in there. Alan Brown, if I didn't already mention him, but. Um, all these players, they're doing really, really well, and uh, be delighted now to see if Preston can push on now. Uh, they're after getting into the fourth round of the FA Cup. I know Brown got two, and uh, Horgan got one the other day. So Horgan's actually starting to do really well for Preston. He's starting to get a lot of goals, and um, yeah, be interested to see now what, hap what happens with him uh, if he can kick on now and start getting some, uh, a lot more goals and assists. And he'd be because he was he wasn't really starting that many games. He's starting to get a good run now. And if he's not starting, he's start, starting to do um, like making a, a difference when he comes off the bench. So it's great to see because obviously we want to see our best players do well. Kevin O'Connor, he's a pretty lucky man. He's at the win the lotto, so fair play to him. And uh, yeah, it'd be interesting now as well to see when um, Sean Maguire will come back from injury. It'd be interesting to see if we can get him into the squad as well for those friendly games uh, against France and Turkey. So, as I say, it's exciting times. If, if we can get all these players back from injury now and kind of push on, 
Um, tomorrow we'll be speaking more about the managerial situation, who we'd like to get in, and so on. Uh, in the next coming qualifier, not qualifier, sorry, friendlies, uh, who would you like to see uh, being picked into the squad? Leave your comments uh, below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. There'll be a little bubble coming up like right here somewhere or there, <laughs> somewhere like that. But um, yeah, check it out and uh, don't be afraid to get in touch. If you'd like to come in on the couch whenever, get in touch with us and uh, we'll see what we can do. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV. Have a great day.